everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 18th, 2020. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com and just be ready to go deep. These are not psychic readings. We're not predicting your future. We are, we're basically going into your personal energy and reflecting back what you need to know to keep you moving on your soul's contract. All right. So I hope my light hangs in here. <laughs> it keeps, keeps kind of flashing at me here. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, let's get into it here. I was tuning in for the message. We've always been getting these hard hitting messages. And what I was feeling to bring forward now is it's time to try to find happiness in whatever's going on. It makes sense. We as humans, we are always waiting for things outside of us to fall into, into place in the way that we think they should so that we can be happy. Whereas here, they're given the message of, no, 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 no. You need to be happy with what is. Oh, how can I do that? That's insane. I'll give an example. I was just in my bathroom getting ready. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's too many things around. This is too cluttered. I have to clean today. And suddenly I felt stressed because I have a lot of stuff to do today. <laughs> right? And I'm like, how am I going to fit this in? And then I stopped and I went, wait a minute. Why am I putting this pressure on myself? I'm actually very fortunate that I have these tools that I use to put myself together so I can film a video. You know, like that's what we're talking about here. Not looking around and seeing necessarily all the things that are out of place, but how lucky you are to be where you are. If you have a roof over your head, we've said this before, if you have a roof over your head, you're doing better than some. If you're healthy, you're doing better than some people. If you can pay your bills, you know what I'm saying? So, and some of you out there, you're in that place where, you know, maybe you did lose your job. Maybe you are on a reduced income right now. The whole world is with you, all right? So you're not alone. So if you start to even kind of go into that space of, oh no, what am I gonna do? Remember, I'm not alone. And this is my opportunity to start exploring what might really make me happy what might give me more security in my life, you know, or whatever security is for you. This is also, we have to work on not letting our energy get suppressed so much that we start to fall apart. Because remember, we are a collective energy. Now, what I'm getting at here is if you're feeling depressed, please reach out for help. There's no shame in getting help whatsoever. And there are tons of resources out there for you. But you know, and I'm not saying that if you're depressed, just snap out of it. I would never say that to you ever, 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 because I get it. All right. But if we're in this place where we keep finding ourselves getting triggered, getting agitated, um, and then staying there, well, then we're adding that to the collective. And now we're going to st start seeing other things manifesting out there. Okay. We don't want that. We don't want to do that. And it is okay for us to enjoy our lives. It's time to get creative. <laughs> Actually, that's how they started off the message. <laughs> and they, they're even saying that now it's time to get creative. It's time to get creative about how to find joy in what is right now. Not putting your happiness on hold until the externals fall into place. They never will. And that whole time you're contributing this energy to the collective and you're kind of torturing yourself and you don't deserve that. Okay. So if you have to clean, let's go back to that example. <laughs> um, I am somebody who likes to have things clean, but I don't like the process of doing it. Uh, you know, but try to find some way to enjoy that. Or if it starts to stress you out thinking, I can't clean today, do it on another day. Or maybe get outside. You know, I, I just did that yesterday. I went on a gorgeous hike. We were so fortunate to have a beautiful day. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go out for another hike. But man, I was out there taking pictures of everything. I was like, this is amazing. And for the first time in a long time, I felt like, okay, everything's okay, right? And sometimes we don't even realize that. We go through our meditations, we try to stay in that good energy, but we're still functioning as human beings. And things are happening. Things are always happening in our own lives. They're happening out in the world. We're hearing new things every day. And it was nice to take a break from it all and just enjoy the sunshine and enjoy seeing a bumblebee on some flowers and seeing a butterfly on some flowers, you know, and, and getting that in a photograph. So, you know, there are ways to find happiness, right? Maybe for you, maybe you're someone who works outside normally. Maybe you enjoy making yourself 
a nice dinner and just sitting at home and enjoying being in your home. Or maybe you're enjoying moving your furniture around so that there's um, a refresh feel, you know, going through your closets and seeing what you want to shift out. And, you know, there are things to do here. And it's not about distracting yourself in the sense that you're in denial, right? That's not what we're doing. But we want you to do anything that you can to stay uh, in a nicer energy, right? For your sake and for everyone's sake. So that, uh, that can also mean doing creative projects. So if there's something that you have put off, maybe you should practice your music if that's what you do or sit and do some writing. And writers, I, I feel you, it's hard to sit there and stare at that blank page where you feel all agitated and it's just like, oh, I have so many other things I should be doing right now. But if you give yourself that chance and even just treat it like journaling, and sit there and just just to get you going that might be one approach or read a book catch up on your reading you know there are all these things that you could be doing find things around your home where you can do a project or you know what i'm saying so anything to get us out of that phase of oh no what's going to happen to us next oh no <laughs> um you know what's the government going to be doing to us next oh no how are people going to react to that when the government starts, you know, all that stuff. I'm not saying, you know, don't, don't be aware. I would never tell you that, but take care of yourselves. All right. Take care, take very good care of yourselves and giving yourself that time to meditate and to, um, to just take the pressure off. Just take the pressure off. You need that now. All right. So let's see what we have for our cards this week. Yeah, there's a whole lot here of don't don't listen to other people about what makes you happy or how you should do things or you know we talk about this constructive criticism thing that people will hide behind oh it's just constructive criticism but it was actually not constructive at all it was just nasty or whatever so some of you need to hear that where people are telling you you're not allowed to feel what you feel that's not the message here okay the message is not sidestep how you feel it is Try to find the happiness with where you are and stop beating yourself up for where you are and don't let other people beat you up either. The secret. So this often comes up and I immediately think, oh, that book, The Secret, <laughs> right? And I still have people come to me and that is their Bible in a way of how to live. And uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, that was a good place to start, but... What ended up happening is we started giving into this conditioned thinking that this way of manifesting from the ego to get things that would feed an egoic society, right? There's nothing wrong with wanting a nice house. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting a nice car. But when you think that that is attached to your self-worth, okay, we need to reevaluate that. Coming into the heart space, this is where you can manifest things that now, now because you're coming from the place of feeling, what you manifest is more authentic and it has a, a nicer intention behind it. And just because it doesn't look successful to other people doesn't mean that it's not bringing you happiness. All right. So be careful what you're manifesting. Be careful of, because some people, you know, might be panicking right now and going, oh my gosh, I, I just, I'm going to, you know, start manifesting because you hear all this stuff going around about, well, it's your reality. You can change it. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But sometimes you need to flow with your soul's purpose. You have to flow with what is helping your soul grow. So that doesn't guarantee that you get a perfect life. As a matter of fact, I think I've said this before, there would be no point in you being here if you had a perfect life. So the secret here is saying, the secret is you can be happy right now, you can manifest from the heart and manifest what is truly meaningful to you and what would really make you happy as opposed to what other people tell you will make you happy. All right, so there's that. The next card, heart and soul, right there. It's, it's, I think that's where all that joy is coming from, right? Like, or why they're telling us to get into that space of doing something that makes you happy, getting you in touch with your heart and soul. And again, along with that secret card, that is helping you to manifest something that is 
more meaningful, more in alignment with who you are. Even down to your spiritual practices. How many times, I know I'm a spiritual practitioner and I hear it all the time, you don't do this right, you don't do that right. I've been hearing it since I came out on YouTube. <sighs> Nobody, if, if it feels right to you, I mean, unless you're really just making stuff up in your head. <laughs> but I mean, if you're in your heart and you're like, you know what, I feel like uh, talking to angels has to do with me getting into my heart space and opening up and inviting them in and then waiting to see what I feel or, you know, what inspiration comes to me, you know, and somebody else might come along and say, oh, then you're not truly talking to the angels, blah, blah, blah. Those people, their day is done. All right. The egotistical supposed guru, that day is done. It's been done for a long time. So get back in touch with your heart, with your soul. Let that be priority number one. Enjoy your life. You're allowed to enjoy it no matter what's happening outside of you. All right. Let me get the next card here. I'm trying to hang on to them because I have to film them for the B-roll. <laughs> anyway, I don't want them getting lost. All right, color. Did we have this last week? I think we did. So again, this is about being creative. What do you want to have for your life? What do you want to draw in? If we get into this place of fear, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not saying pretend like things aren't happening, but if we get into that place of fear, now we're not creating we're allowing some other power to create for us. How do you want to color your life? What do you want it to look like? And if you're like, you're trying to get into this and you're like, Ugh, I don't know, I'm just frustrated. It's okay, be in your feelings, <laughs> have your moment. Just if you are feeling frustrated, make sure that you give yourself a chance to come on out of that. And then finally we have the judgment, the judgment. Now you can take this any old way you want, but I just feel like we, if we're gonna find that light within us, there's a lot we need to let go of. And there's a lot of evaluating in how we have approached our lives. How do we approach one another? There's a big profound message behind that right now too. And yeah, I wanna tell this funny story. I thought I was being judged the other day. I went to go pick up my groceries and out of respect for the workers, I make sure that I put on my mask. These women went by and they're standing there just staring at me and I'm like, are they judging me for having a mask on in my car? Because that's like the big joke now. Why are you wearing a mask in a car all by yourself? How about you not worry about it, okay? <laughs> but I'm sitting there and they walked, it wasn't even until that night that I realized they were probably looking at me because my trunk was open, which I forgot about, because um, you have to open your own trunk for them to bring the groceries and put them in and then you have to get out when they walk away and close the trunk. So. Here I am judging them for thinking they're judging me when probably they were like, should we tell her that her trunk is open? That's the kind of thing that we're talking about here. <laughs> it can be very easy to jump to conclusions because again, we are all in that state right now where we're just a little on edge, <laughs> a little on edge and um, maybe being fearful of the future. I've been getting a lot of um, reading requests where people are like, oh my gosh, am I gonna be okay? Uh, and mostly what should I, you know, should I stay with this person? Uh, what is my career going to look like? And those are all very understandable questions. But what if you could have a vacation from all of that? What if you could just go, oh, so the apartment's messy, the house is messy, who cares? Ain't nobody coming over. You know what I mean? Um, so somebody looked at me because I was wearing a mask or not wearing a mask or whatever. Who cares, right? <laughs> so giving yourself a chance to be revitalized. Okay, so let's get the color card. Let's see what's going on there. It does have this, this whole week has this kind of feeling of like, okay, I'm just gonna unplug for a minute. I'm just gonna do what makes me happy and not pressure myself to keep going, going, going and making things happen. Oh, beautiful. You know, it's so funny, when I picked up this deck, and this was at the bottom, and I always make note of what card's on the bottom so that I can see if it ends up coming up after the shuffle. So this is Lilac, Strengthen Your Faith. The number is 42. Yeah, so there's that obvious message. I just wanna, there's something, there's something very comforting about this color, <laughs> right? Oh man, this lamp is about to go. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully it's not picking up on the mic where it keeps crackling and popping. Ugh. Uh. I'm kind of close to it too, my goodness. So strengthen your faith, allow yourself to be in a calmed state. See, we also get conditioned to think that if we 
take a moment for ourselves, then we're being self. If we're not panicking like everybody else, then you don't care. How could you not care about this? That is not it. That is not it. If we do care, we need to make sure that we are taking care of our own energy, taking care of our physical vessels, making sure that we are finding happiness and keeping the faith, keeping that faith. That's what's helping humanity. And people never, you know, people who aren't into that, I guess, they'd be like, well, there's no science behind that. Therefore, it can't possibly be true. But what if it is? What if it is? What if this is helping? Right? So strengthen your faith. Allow yourselves to take a little bit of a break here. Again, I'm not guaranteeing that for each individual out there that you're not going to be going through stuff this week. But how well do you get through it? How do you approach it? All right. And do you let it rob you of your joy? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. 